course, there's always the mountains in springtime, isn't there, huh? That's when the hikers are bedecked in their hiking finery and hitting the trails. You'll see them sporting their tilly clothes they got for Christmas. Oh, the tilly clothes. Look at me, I'm wearing tilly clothes, look. I'm so white, I'm scaring myself, look. I'm wearing tilly clothes and pinching a pet of walnuts twixt the cheeks of my ass, look. And the tilly hat. My face would have to be a garden of flower and melanoma before I'd put that pretentious lid in my head. Let alone tie up the chin strap. <laughs> if that's not screaming weak link in the food chain, huh? <laughs> Tying up the chin strap on a tilly hat's the same as being a gazelle with a limp round the water hole. It's only a matter of time before you're going down. <laughs> All those outdoor stores do the same. They suck you in to make you think you need more stuff, huh? <laughs> like tents. I'm a sucker for the nice geodesic dome tents when you see them sitting on the floor of the shop. Hmm? Of course, I get them to the campsite. <laughs> no pictures with the instructions. Gonna be trouble there, man, huh? Cause I need to see the happy stick people giving me the one, two, three, easy setup. <laughs> but having stuff is one thing. Mm. But it's the moment you can't measure where the soul hums the loudest. And the West has that in spades. You know, for a Region sitting on a world of wealth, your best currency isn't even in your wallet. It's people in place. It's a state of mind. It's a way of walking through the world in the big wide open, huh? And I'm just a fellow traveler in my nation of origin who's had the good fortune to witness it. Folks back home watching, don't believe me? Come on out west and see for yourself. Geez, I did, and CBC gave me a comedy special your tax dollars paid for. <laughs> Sure, man. Whatever I can do to keep the West from walking. Thank you very much.